Hey, what's up guys? Flurpolder here, and today we have a special video planned for you today. We are on the 1.2 beta version of Minecraft Pocket Edition. Gonna be showing you off some of the things that I found, well, that are in the update. But they did add some new things to the settings, I know for sure. As you can see, it's a little bit different. The button scheme is different. Like before, it would tell you like button one through whatever number. But now it actually shows you the correct button. So you know what button is binded if you're using a controller on the actual pocket edition. Um, they also, I believe, they, they did change some of the default controls around. I should say that as well. If you're used to pushing the uh, left trigger to toggle your perspective, it is now the up arrow instead. But you can... Alright, sorry about that. My Minecraft did just crash. I'm waiting for it to load in. You can also see there's a new uh, loading menu instead of like, I think it used to be just a black screen, but now it's like this. Which is kind of plain, but I mean, it is a thing. Anyways, um, I'm going to let it kind of chill for a minute. It also says at the top what beta it is. I think that is toggle. You can toggle that off. It shows your, uh, shows your phone stats, stuff like that. But anyways, Getting into what else there is, I believe they might have changed a couple of things. Nothing really new here. Uh, yeah, everything else here looks pretty much the same. But they did change around some video settings. So as you can see, now you can do split screen in-game player names. Uh, oh, let me scroll to the top. I can see the top stuff. So everything looks pretty much the same here, as you can tell. Um, it's not, not too different, except they added sh you know a couple things here, as you can see. I'm not sure what half of these really do, but there are a couple new settings, stuff like that. Hey, that's supposed to be it. Yeah, there we go. Um, I don't believe they added anything else. Really, just a couple of video settings changes as well when you create a new world. Oh, first of all, you can see the servers thing looks a little different. Just slightly different. Coming soon. Ooh, wonder what that is. Um, but if you create a new server, if you create a new world, not server, you can see that it's got a couple new things you can start with a map start with a bonus test you can choose to trust players you can also give players different ranks visitor member operator which is pretty cool i think that's a really neat feature that is something that we've needed for a while honestly to help moderate our own worlds and maybe even realms on pocket edition because it's cu it's currently kind of hard to do that as well you can see i don't know about how many of these were on here i don't believe fire spread tnt explodes keep inventory and everything else really down here i believe it was just always day were the only things on here so it's cool that you can just toggle these on now of course you do need sheet mode on which means if you do toggle it on you, of course, won't get any achievements, which is kind of kind of lame, but I guess it's, you know, it's their way of doing it. As well, they kind of changed this menu up slightly, which is really cool because now you can set it to just friends only or invite only, which is also something we needed because if you want to join a friend but you don't want your friends to join you and them, you can, you know, you can set that so that so that they can't do that. Now, getting into the new items they have today, I have the upload uh, update list pulled up right here. They added several new things, a lot of new features. They added stained glass, fireworks, which give you a boost whenever using an elytra, parrots, banners, armor stands, jukebox, and music disc, recipe books, which I believe if you go into, well, I don't have the right things to it. They also added a new GO, GUI, which I'll get into all this in a second. I'm going to start off just going from chest to chest, and I'll read over the official list again of what they all added. So first of all, you can see that well, the chests are kind of the same, but they did add stained glass, as you can see right here. Let me let me get down to it. Stained glass right here, and I believe, um, I don't think it does it on this GUI. I'm going to go ahead and just show off this GUI a bit. It's a little bit confusing to me. I was having troubles with it. I guess it's not too complicated. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like the, the part of the uh, classic GUI in a way, but at the same time, it's not. You'll see what I mean in a second. Let me go ahead and switch to the classic GUI just for navigation purposes. And you did get to see a little bit of what it looks like. And the thing I actually need to look at is in the classic GUI. So, okay. So it's kind of like the classic GUI in a second when it pulls up. See, it's, it's just the same thing, just kind of. I guess rotated differently but they did add a thing where you can see i guess this is the recipe book right here kind of in a sense you can see they added well maybe not huh maybe oh i think it only works if you do things over here okay so that that's that's a thing to keep note of um okay so there is red stained glass if it goes into a chest oh no i can't see it there's red stained glass there's different other stained glasses glass of course and the way to craft this, I don't have a crafting re recipe up, but pretend this is like normal glass. All you would do is surround a, you would, oh, not, not there. You put glass in a 
like a pattern like this and you would put the die in the middle there of whatever color you want your glass to be. So that's pretty simple and you can get all kinds of different stained glasses. You can find them also in the creative menu as well. The next thing we have is armor stands, which is something I was super hyped for because there was an idea I wanted to try with this, but I couldn't try it. So if you put down a armor stand, of course, you can just go like this and you can throw on your armor on there and it looks pretty cool. Anyways, moving on to what we have next in our beautiful chests of updated goodness over here. We have, so we did the armor stand, we did the, the die or the stained glass. We also have firework rockets and you can see, I don't remember where I found the recipe or where I found the item for it because I actually don't know the recipe for this one. I don't have any of the recipes planned out because I just wanted to kind of do this as quickly as possible. If you go down here though, you can see the recipe, maybe not. Oh, here's the recipe. It is paper, a firework rocket, and it is also some um, gunpowder. And then down, if you click on this, also there's a new little thing with this. You click on the ones with the arrows and it gives you different variants of it. You can see different fireworks. I actually don't know how you get a firework star. I'm not 100% sure, but you can light them off, you know, firework stuff, which is pretty cool, honestly. I haven't worked fireworks before in Java Edition, but, you know, um, another thing I'm going to quickly cover while I uh, change the time is they added different, like, basic commands you can do. Like, you can click this, you can do stuff like this, see? I think it's really cool, honestly. It, like, and you can press X and instantly turn it in. I think that's really cool. It really makes navigating the chat so much easier for uh, phone edition or pocket edition when you're using a controller. They also added banners, which you don't know the recipe of this. It is just a stick right here and then this three by or two by three pattern up here in whatever color wool you want. And then, of course, you can do different things to uh, change it and make it look better. Of course, I don't really work with, with um, oh, they mean to do that. I don't really work with um, banners, so I don't know how to do a lot of that, but if you know how to do that, you can now do that in Minecraft Pocket Edition or Windows 10 Edition, which is pretty cool. Then the next thing they added was a jukebox, or jukeboxes, and music discs, so you can put some, some beautiful tunes on, which I think I have my sounds off. Not 100% sure, I don't hear it, so whatever. The next thing they added is a book and quill, so you can just, you know, type away and all that good stuff. Just type yourself a nice little story or adventure book, stuff like that for the future of map creation, stuff like that. The next thing we have to show off is Chorus Dirt, which is, it's kind of pointless. I'm not 100% sure if it actually has a genuine use, but I do know the crafting recipe of this one, I believe. Yeah, two gravel and two normal dirt, and you can make Chorus Dirt, and it just... I don't know, I guess it looks different, but uh, that's pretty much that. Let me go to the spawns. So if you go to these spawns down here, there should be a new one, I believe it said. Yeah, because it said it added, where is it at? Parrots. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for is a parrot, which I don't know what its egg would look like. I'm going to assume that. So that, yeah, they added parrots to it, which you can, I believe, right click. I could probably smack you. I can. Well, they added parrots of different colors and stuff like that. Lots of cool things you can see around here. You know, all that cool stuff. Lots, lots, lots of lots of parrots just, just hanging out and stuff like that. So the official feature list that I was going over originally is stained glass, which we showed off. Fireworks, which we showed off. I didn't show off the elytra boosting because I'm just, I'm not good with elytras. Don't really want to show that off. And I don't really know how it works, but I will be practicing that in my free time. Parrots. Banners, armor stands, jukebox, and music discs, recipe book, which is the thing on the right where it shows you how to craft certain things, like as you can see on the side there. As well, they added ravines to your world. Now, I don't, I don't, they didn't have that before, but I guess they do now, which is pretty cool, honestly. Core start, and they added a new command called slash ticking garia. It's like this command to create an area that will still update when no players are there oh, okay that's cool so you would do ticking oh ticking tick it's right there you can you, you can see it it's, it's right there i'm not gonna do it i think it's ticking area i think i just read it wrong yes yeah, ticking area my bad i don't know why but i saw two g's for some reason they also added player management permissions, which I did show off. Zombie villager spawn egg, which I guess they didn't have before, which I did see it in the list. They added in-game host options, which is honestly a really cool feature. I think that was needed, like much needed. New loading screen and funny and helpful tips on the loading screen on the main menu, I guess, which is actually very helpful. 
I think this update's pretty cool. Tell me, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of this new update. I think they added a lot of really cool things. Maybe not much to it to make it too interesting, but enough to keep it, like, creatively interesting. So, the people on the, uh, like I said, the, cre the creative side of Minecraft with map building and stuff like that can kind of have a fun time now and actually create some really good pocket edition maps, which I'm really excited to get into some of those. So, if you do find some in this new update, of course, this is a beta right now. But if you do see some in the future, let me know and I'll check them out. Maybe do a video or maybe even a stream on them depending on how long they are. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, remember to smash a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And click that notification bell so you're notified every time I do upload or stream on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.